Hello student, welcome to our last topic. This is lesson 8 and here we are going to look at constituent of matter. Pure substance can be classified as elements or compound. Elements. Elements are pure substances which cannot be split into simpler substance by chemical means. Examples include oxygen, the symbol is O, capital O, nitrogen, symbol, capital N, hydrogen, symbol, capital H, chlorine, capital C, small L, copper, capital C, small U, aluminium, capital A, small L, sodium, capital N, small A, potassium, we have capital K, calcium, we have capital C, small a, iron, we have capital F, small e, sulfur, capital S, iodine, capital I, carbon, capital C. They are over a hundred known elements. So these are just few examples. Elements are made up of atoms and atom is defined as the smallest particle of an element which can take part in a chemical change. Note, atoms of the same element are similar. The atoms of some element cannot exist independently, but join together to form a group, a small group of atoms. This is common in gaseous element like oxygen, which they independently exist as oxygen gas, so O2. Nitrogen, which is also a gas, N2. Hydrogen, a gas, which exists as groups. Chlorine also exists as group because most of them are in gaseous form, ETC. These small groups are called molecules. Therefore, a molecule is defined as the smallest particle of an element or a compound that can exist separately or independently. Compounds. A compound is a pure substance made up of two or more elements chemically combined. It is good to differentiate between the three definition of these terms. The compound formed when gray solid of iron, Fe, chemically combined by heating with yellow solid of sulfur is iron 2 sulfide so written f e s so it is good to note the symbols of these elements and compounds we continue elements that are present in compound can be identified from its name for example compounds ending with I D E names adding with I D E means the compound is composed of two elements only, e.g., calcium nitride is made up of calcium C A and nitrogen capital N. So calcium nitride. Then we have sodium hydride, it is made up of sodium, which the symbol is capital. N A small A and hydrogen capital H. There is some exception of hydroxide, e.g., sodium hydroxide. So although this one ends with I in I D E, the, the sodium hydroxide is made up of three elements: that is sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Compounds ending with A T E, for example. Names ending with this one is composed of three elements, which one of them is oxygen. For example, sodium sulfate. So sodium sulfate, we have sodium, then we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. So these are three. So sodium, Na, sulfur, capital S, oxygen, capital O. Another one is potassium chlorate. So it means there is chlorine, chlorate, 
So the formula is that way, is mida potassium K, chlorine, capital C, small l, and oxygen, capital O. Exception to this rule are hydrogen carbonate and hydrogen sulfates. So for example, we have sodium hydrogen sulfate. In this case, we have sodium, we have hydrogen, we have sulfur, and oxygen. So these are four elements in these one, two, three, four. So the sulfate we said here, there are three, but we have this exception of hydrogen carbonate and hydrogen sulfates. Compound ending with ITE uh, means, for example, they have three elements, one of which is oxygen. However, amount of oxygen is less than the compound with A. So the oxygen here is less than in this. So for example, we have sodium sulfide. So if you compare with sodium sulfate, you'll find that sodium here, sodium there, sulfur, sulfur, but the number of oxygen here is four, and this one are three. So this one has less than the one with AT. E. It is made up of sodium, sulfur, and oxygen, like the one, but this one, the oxygen is less than in the compound with ATE. Another example, in chemistry, they are represented by letters, elements, which are referred to chemical symbols. A chemical symbol of an element is usually the first letter, or the first and the another letter of element, English or Latin name. First letter of the chemical symbol must always be in capital. It is good to note this. You will apply this all through chemistry course to form form. When letter, when the second letter is always a small letter. Chemical symbols derived from the first letter on of an element, we have elements and the symbol carbon, we have capital C, nitrogen, capital N, oxygen, capital O, hydrogen, capital H, sulfur, capital N, iodine, capital I, phosphorus, capital P. The first and the second letter, chemical symbols, we have calcium, C, capital, and then small a, cobalt, we have capital C, small a, O. Then chlorine, we have capital C, small l. Magnesium, we have capital M, small g. Manganese, we have capital M, small n. Zinc, we have capital Z, small n. Aluminium, we have capital A, small l. Those derived from Latin name, we have potassium, known as kalium in Latin, so the symbol is K, derived from the Latin name. Sodium, we have nitrium, so Na. Silver, argentum, Ag. Gold, arum, which is Au. All these ones are derived from the Latin name. Iron, ferrum, which is capital F, small e. Then lead, we have plabum, which is capital P, small b. Mercury hydrogram, capital H, small g. Copper, we have capram, which is capital C, small u. Note, where chemical symbols is represented with two letters, the first letter is always a capital and the second letter is usually a small letter. The chemical symbols shall be applied in the entire chemistry course. Therefore, kindly practice to remember the correct chemical symbol of elements. Chemical equations. When iron and sulfur are heated, they combine chemically to form iron to sulfide. The iron and sulfur on the left side are referred as reactant, while iron sulfide on the right side is referred as the product. Chemical combination of element is known as reaction. So when the chemicals or the maybe elements combine, they react. So chemical combination 
is what is referred as reaction. So we have iron here, the symbol is F E sulfur combined to form iron sulfide F E S. So these are known as the reactants, while on this one on the right side we have the product. This presentation is no is known as word representation. So the forward arrow sign one is used where reaction are permanent and proceed only in one direction. While two arrow signs in opposite direction show a reversible reaction like we see all in temporary changes. It means the reaction can proceed in either direction or of the two. So we have this arrow moving in this direction and the other one in the opposite direction. So the reaction is reversible like what we did in our DIN. So example iron reacting with sulfur. So when they react you form iron to sulfide. Then sublimation of iodine this is a reversible reaction so the two arrows are there so this one proceed in one direction meaning it is a permanent reaction proceed only in one direction iron and sulfur and this one is reversible then we have another example sulfur reacting with oxygen you get sulfur for oxide in this case you have sulfur to form sulfur for oxide then carbon reacting with oxygen you get carbon oxygen to form carbon four oxide it is good to note here we are not writing O only it is O2 because this is a gas it does not exist uh, as an atom it exists as a molecule chemical reactions can also be present using chemical symbols this will be further done in form 2 topic 1 that is the structure of the atom and the periodic table. Thank you and welcome now to the assignment. Make sure you know how to define all these terms, know how to write down the word equation. If possible you can go ahead and use the symbols. Thank you and wish you the best and then when you come to question six remember we have the elements and symbols make sure that these are are in your fingertips and then elements and symbols thank you and wish you the best